Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video. Tonight I'm going to make brownies. And yes, I'm making it from a mix because it only costs a dollar and it's convenient and easy and always comes out delicious. Now normally, and for the past 20 years as an adult, whenever I would bake or, or prep foods like, uh, like a cake batter or brownie mix, I would use this big glass bowl and a spoon to mix it up and to dish it out from the bowl into my baking dish. Now this is breakable and if you've got wet batter on here, I'd have to scrape all the sides of the bowl to get whatever was in the bowl out into whatever I was baking or cooking in. I don't use that anymore now that I'm a Tupperware rep. I use these tools, so I'll tell you about them. First of all, I have my heat resistant silicone spatula. So this um, head of the spatula is rated up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so can, you can use it while you're cooking on the stove or mixing something that's in a baking dish because it, it won't easily melt. It's also great for getting things out of a jar or a can that are stuck to the sides like at the end of a jar of salsa or mayonnaise or getting um, stuff uh, like uh, condensed soup out of a can. You can use uh, the spatula for that. The other cool thing about this spatula is um, it's very sturdy. It's a very, very strong, stable handle and it's very easy to clean uh, in so much as you can pull off the silicone part and um, clean both pieces and dry them individually before you reassemble it. You can also use the handle part as um, an icing knife when you're icing a, a cake or cupcakes or something like that. So, uh, awesome piece, it's only $19, and I can't believe I went half of my uh, lifetime without one of these in my kitchen, but now I have it and I'm very grateful for it. The other tool I'm gonna uh, show you today is called That's a Bowl. This is That's a Bowl. It comes in several different sizes, a medium, a large, and a mega. It has a watertight, airtight seal. Take the seal off to show you the bowl. So normally, I, before Tupperware, I would have mixed my brownies in this glass bowl, but today I'm gonna use a That's a Bowl. And there's several reasons why this That's a Bowl is great. First of all, it's got this little loop for your uh, thumb or as a handle, so when you are mixing and you have your bowl on the counter, you can hold it in place so that it's not uh, swirling around like a merry-go-round when you're trying to mix up your batter or your dinner. The other great thing about this loop is that when you are uh, taking your batter out of the bowl and putting it into your baking dish, you can very easily, with your thumb, hold this in place because it's lightweight and you've got your thumb to hold on to it while you're uh, uh, scraping out your, your batter or your mixture into your baking dish. When I was using this big glass bowl with no handle, which was breakable and heavy and clumsy, it was a lot more difficult. So I'm going to get my brownie started, and I'll be back in a second to show you what it's looked like to, uh, to get the brownie mix into the, uh, into the pan. Okay, so I've prepared my brownie mix exactly according to the instructions. I've got my eggs, uh, vegetable oil, water, and the brownie mix all mixed up in the That's a Bowl. And I love walnuts in my brownies, so I'm gonna add some chopped walnuts. You get from the store already chopped up. How easy is that? So I'm putting in the rest, which is about a quarter cup. So I'll give this one final stir and make sure that I've got all the sides of my bowl scraped so that any loose, dry brownie powder is mixed up with the rest of the moist stuff. So I'll give us a couple more stirs and then I'm gonna put it in my baking dish. So I like to spray my baking dish by just using an eight by eight glass. And now the best part, the magic part, is the fact that I have this easy loop so that when I'm scraping out the batter into my baking dish, I don't have to worry about dropping a big heavy glass bowl. So I'm just going to spatula that in and get that all nice and snug in the baking dish so it can go into the oven in a sec. And it's so easy to use this spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl as opposed to using a tablespoon like I was using before I discovered Tupperware and the magic of a silicone spatula. 
So I think I've got pretty much all of that in my baking dish. I'm going to throw that in the oven. Uh, I think it's gonna bake for about 35 minutes and then I should have some nice fresh brownies. Now, if you're interested in purchasing these, I'd love you if you buy it off the link, I'll put it in the description. Um, if you like this video, please share it on your Facebook page and um, let your friends know that they can get all their, their Tupperware stuff from me. But until next time, I hope you guys stay safe and thanks for watching.